hi guys, um, today I want to talk to you about drug calculations and just run through it step by step and how you do it and hopefully it will be clear to you um, and I'll just use three examples to show you using a formula how to do it. So the formula I do is what the patient needs, okay, so what's on the prescription, what the doctor orders, over what you already have times um, like the quantity of it okay so that so that's what the patient needs on the prescription over what you have in stock um, times by things like this is usually say in mils okay so what you need okay and it'll come come more clear um, as we're doing the questions what I mean by that okay and um, so that's the formula you use um, I just wanted to share with you um, another youtuber her youtube name is funky fun and 40 um her name's robin she remembers it which i think is quite good uh, as doc over stock and then it's the same times by the quantity doc over stock it rhymes so what the doctor orders over what you've got okay that is the formula and then we're going to go over some examples now okay so um this is one first question okay um, an injection of morphine, nine milligrams, is ordered. Okay, so what's ordered is nine milligrams. Okay, um, the stock ampule contains fifteen milligrams in one mil. Okay, oh sorry, fifteen milligrams in one mil. So you do. I hope you understand that. Um, the patient needs nine milligrams of morphine. Okay, what you have in the hospital is um, fifteen milligrams in one mil of morphine. Okay, so what you do is, um, I'd say usually approximate it. Think, um, is it more or less than one mil? Now, if there's fifteen milligrams in one mil, the patient needs nine milligrams. That it's going to be less than one mil, okay? So that's a way that you can check it afterwards. If it's more than one mil, you've got a problem there. Okay, so how you do it? You have to divide the nine milligrams that you need over the 15 milligrams that you've got and times by one. And times by one will come out of the same answer. So you don't, when it's one, you don't really need to times it, okay? So you need to work out how many, um, 15s go into 9. Okay, so how many 15s go into 9? 0. It's going to be 0 point something, and you put the 0 there. How many 15s in 96? So you end up with 0 0.6 mils, and that's your answer. Okay, so question 2. Um, it's going to be a little bit trickier, and um, more of the examples that you're going to find. Okay. Tramadol hypochloride, 80 milligrams is required. What volume is needed if available stock contains 100 milligrams in two mils? Okay, so we have it a bit different. We're actually going to have to times it. Okay, the patient needs 80 milligrams. Um, we have 100 millig milligrams. Okay, in two mils. You times in it by two. Now, what I do here is just do that. So that is exactly the same thing. But it stops you times in 80 by 2 and times in 100 by 2 because that's not what you do. You times in 80 by 2 and 100 by 1. Okay? Um, so you come out of that. Um, you can cancel these down, cancel the zeros off that. That's 8 over 10. You can put that as 4 over 5. That'll be easier to work out. And then times 2 over 1, which will be 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 5 is 5. 8 over 5. So you're left in whole numbers with so you've got um you have one five in an eight and you're left with um three over five so then you need to work out how what three over five is as a um decimal okay so what i do here is i'd make it into 30 over um 50 and then make it into 100 over 60 because you'd be you'd be doubling it doubling it then and you know that that is 0.6, okay? And you've got your one there, 
to end up with 1.6 and what's it in? It's in mils, 1.6 mils. Okay, I know this is hard to understand and if you've got any questions, um, then just email me and I'll hopefully make it clearer to you. So this is the last example. Um, what one was going to do? A patient is ordered ben um, penicillin, let's say, 800 milligrams. You have 1.2 grams in 6 mils. Okay, so this is harder. So the patient needs 800. Uh, 800 milligrams okay now you have 1.2 grams now you can't work that out because it's different so you've got milligrams and grams so you're going to need to convert it how many um, grams in milligrams in one millig in one gram there are 1000 milligrams so that is the same as saying 800 milligrams over 1200 milligrams okay so you change it all into milligrams then you can cancel down these zeros, make it 8 over 12. You can cancel that down to 4 over 6. Cancel down again to uh, 2 over 3. Okay, so you've got 2 over 3 times, uh, let me just check what you need, 6 mils. So then you time thing this by 6 over 1. Okay, 2 times 6 is 12. Uh, 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, how many 3s in 12? 3, 6, 9, 12. Four. The answer is four mils. Okay, so remember what you're doing here. You've got what the doctor has ordered, what you need. So you need 800 milligrams. What you have is 1.2 grams, which is the same as 1,200 milligrams. And then you're timesing it by what you've got. So you've got here, here it's um, 1.2 grams in six mils. So 100, which is the same as 1,200 milligrams in 6 mils, so you're timesing it by 6 and then you and then you get up get to what the patient needs after all the counselling down 4 milligrams, so I hope that was clear to you, I hope that's helpful um, comment if you've got any questions or if you haven't made it clear and hopefully I'll be able to answer your questions alright, bye